Epistle of Jeremiah From Wycliffe's Apocrypha, a companion volume to Wycliffe's Bible, a modern spelling version by Terence Noble, from the 14th century Middle English translation, by John Wycliffe and John Purvey. Here beginneth a sample of the epistle of the same barrack or here beginneth the ensample of the same epistle, which epistle Jeremy or Jeremiah sent to the Jews, that were led away as prisoners into Babylon, of or by the king of the Babylonians, that he should tell to them, by that that was commanded of or by God to him. For the sins which ye sinned before God, ye shall be led away as prisoners or as captives into Babylon, of or by Nebuchadnezzar, king of the Babylonians. Therefore ye shall enter into Babylon, and ye shall be there full many years, and into a long time, till to seven generations, forsooth after this, I shall lead out you from thence with peace. But now ye shall see in Babylon, gods of gold and of silver, and of stone and of tree or of wood, to be born on shoulders, showing dread to the heathen men. Therefore see ye, lest also ye be made like to alien deeds, and lest ye dread, and dread take you in them. Therefore when ye see a company of people behind and before them, worship ye God or before worshipping. Then say in your hearts, Lord God, it behoveth that thou be worshipped. Forsooth mine angel is with you, but or and I shall seek your souls. For why the trees or the wood of them be polished of or by a carpenter, also they be arrayed with gold and arrayed with silver, and yet be false, and may not or be not able to speak. And as to a virgin or to a maiden loving ornaments, so when gold is taken, ornaments be made to or for the idols. Certainly the gods of them have golden crowns on their heads. Wherefore priests withdraw from those gods gold and silver, and spend it in or on themselves. Soothly they give also of that to whores, an array, or adorn whores, and again when they receive that of or from whores, they array or they adorn their gods. But those gods be not delivered from rust and moths. Forsooth when they be covered with a cloth or a cloak of purple. Priests shall wipe the faces of them, for the dust of the house or of the temple, which is full much among those gods. Forsooth these idols have a scepter, as a man hath, yea, as the judge of a country, but that slayeth not a man sinning against himself. Also they have in the hand a sword and an axe, but they deliver not themselves from battle and from thieves. Wherefore be it known to you, that they be not gods, therefore worship or dread ye not them. For as a broken vessel of a man is made unprofitable, such also be the gods of them. When they be set up in the house or in the temple, the eyes of them be full of dust, of or from the feet of men entering in. And as the gates be set about a man, that offended the king, either as when a dead man is brought to the sepulchre, so priests keep securely the doors with closings and locks, lest they be robbed of or by thieves. They tend lanterns to or for them, and soothly many lanterns, of which they may or be able to see none. Forsooth, they be as the beams in an house or in the temple. Soothly men say that the serpents, that be of the earth, lick out the hearts of them, yet while the serpents eat them and their clothes, and or but they feel it not. The faces of them be black of or from the smoke, which is made in the house or in the temple. Night crows or bats and swallows fly above the body or the bodies of them, and above the heads of them, and birds also and cats in like manner. Wherefore know ye, that they be not gods, therefore dread ye not them. Also the gold which they have, is to or for their fairness, no but or unless some man wipe away the rust, they shall not shine. For they even field it not, the while those were weld or molten together. They be bought of all price or for a very high price, in which no spirit or breath is in them. They without feet, be borne on the shoulders of men, and show openly their unnobility to men. Be they shamed also that worship them. Therefore if they fall down to the earth, they shall not rise up of or by themselves, and if any man setteth that idol upright, it shall not stand by itself, but as to dead things or to dead men, 
shoulders shall or must be put to them. The priests of them sell the sacrifices of them, and misuse, in like manner and the women of them ravish away or snatching up, neither to a sick man, neither to a beggar, they give anything. Of their sacrifices foul women or those with child, and in unclean blood or menstruate touch. Therefore know ye by these things, that they be not gods, and dread ye not them. For whereof be they called gods? For women set sacrifices to gods of silver and of gold and of tree or of wood. And the priests that have coats rent or torn or cut, and their heads and beards shaven, whose heads be naked, sit in the houses of them or in their temples. Soothly they roar and cry against or before their gods, as in the supper of a dead man. And the priests take away the clothes of them, and clothe their wives and their children. And if they suffer anything of evil of any man, or if they suffer anything of good, they may not or be not able to yield back or to repay it. Neither they may or be able to ordain or to make a king, neither do him away. In like manner they may neither give riches, neither yield evil thing. If any man maketh a vow to them, and yieldeth not, they ask not for this thing. They deliver not a man from death, neither ravish or snatch up a sick or a weak man from a mightier. They restore not a blind man to sight, they shall not deliver a man from need. They shall not have mercy on a widow, neither they shall do good to fatherless or motherless children. Their gods of tree or of wood and of stone, and of gold and of silver, be like the stones of the mountain, forsooth they that worship them, shall be shamed or be confounded. How therefore is it to guess, either to say, that they be gods? For why yet when even the Chaldeans honor not them? Which when they hear that a dumb man may not or be not able to speak, offer him to Bel, and ask of him to be able to speak, as if they that have no stirring or moving, may or be able to feel. And they, when they shall understand, shall forsake those idols, for those gods of them have no wit or understanding. Forsooth women gird about or bound with ropes or cords, sit in ways, and kindled or burned bones of olives. Soothly when any of these women is drawn away of or by any man passing, and sleepeth with him, she despiseth her neighboress, that she is not had worthy as herself, neither her rope or her cord is broken. Forsooth all things that be done to them, be false. How therefore is it to guess, either to say, that those be gods? Forsooth those idols be made of or by smiths or carpenters, and of or by goldsmiths. They shall be none other thing, no but or except that that the priests will or desire that they be. Also those goldsmiths that make them, be not of much time, therefore whether those things that be made of or by them may be or be able to be gods. Soothly they left false things and shame or reproof to men to coming afterward. For why when battles and evils come on them, priests think, where they shall hide themselves with those. How therefore o or ought those to be deemed or field, that they be gods, which neither deliver themselves from battle, neither deliver themselves from evils. For why when those be of tree or of wood and of stone, and of gold and of silver, it shall be known afterward. Of or by all folks and kings, that those things be false that be made open, for those be not gods, but the works of the hands of men, and no work of God is with or is in them. Whereof therefore it is known, that they be not gods, but the works of the hands of men, and no work of God is in them. They raise not a king to a country, neither shall give rain to men. Also they shall not deem a doom, neither they shall deliver the country from wrong. For those may or be able to do nothing, as little crows betwixt the midst of heaven and of the earth. For when fire falleth into the house of gods of tree or of wood, and of gold and of silver, soothly the priests of those shall flee, and shall be delivered, but they shall be burnt as the beams in the midst. For sooth they shall not against stand a king in battle. How therefore is it to guess or to receive, that they be gods? Gods of tree or of wood and of stone, and of gold and of silver, 
shall not deliver themselves from night thieves, neither from day thieves, and wicked men be stronger than those gods. They shall take away from them gold and silver and clothes, by which those be covered, and then they shall go away, neither they be able to help themselves. Therefore it is better to be a king showing his virtue or his power, either or else a profitable vessel in the house, in which he shall have glory that wieldeth it, than false gods, either or else a door in the house, that keepeth those things that be in it, is better than false gods. Forsooth the sun and moon and stars, when they be bright or when they be shining, and sent out to prophets, obey. In like manner and the lightning, when it appeareth, is clearly seen. Soothly the same thing and the wind breatheth in each country. And the clouds to which, when it is commanded of or by God, to go through all the world, perform that that is commanded to those or do what is commanded to them. Also the fire sent from above, to waste mountains and woods, doeth that that is commanded to it, but these idols be not like to one of those things, neither by forms, neither by virtues or in power. Wherefore it is neither to guess, neither to say, that they be gods, when they may not or be not able to neither deem doom, neither do good to men. Therefore know ye that those be not gods, and dread ye not them. For they shall neither curse neither bless kings. Also they show not to the heathen men signs in the heavens, neither those shall shine as the sun, neither they shall give light as the moon. Beasts that may or be able to fly under a roof, and do profit to themselves, be better than they. Therefore by no manner it is open to you, that they be gods. For which thing, dread ye not them. For why is a man of rags or shoeless, in a place where gourds or cucumbers waxed or grew, keepeth nothing, so be there gods of tree or of wood, and of silver and of gold. In the same manner in a white thorn, in a garden or in a yard keepeth nothing, on which thorn each bird sitteth, and in like manner in their gods of tree or of wood, and of gold and of silver, be like to a dead man cast forth into the darknesses. Also of purple and of marble, which they hold above it or above themselves, therefore ye shall know, that they be not gods. Also those or they themselves be eaten at the last, and it shall be into shame or reproof in the country. Better is a just man, that hath no simulacra or idols, for why he shall be far from shames or reproofs.